What's up, YouTube? Welcome to 2024. Uh, super excited to um, be with you guys, be back with you guys. You know, we've been doing this for a long time together. So um, to be able to continue to make videos, I just want to say thank you to you guys out there. Um, you know, this is something that I love doing. Um, and I love that this is my job and I get to do this for you guys. Um, so we're going to get started with the video, but today's going to be a little bit different. This haircut is inspired by one of my clients. Uh, so I want to tell you guys a little story about how this person became my client in the first place and then, uh, kind of go on from there. And it really ties into the whole, um, YouTube subject as well. Um, I got a phone call randomly uh, at the salon and it was somebody, um, a little bit after COVID, I believe. Um, and they said that they're in the entertainment business and that they were looking for a haircut. Well, um, you never know what that means. Um, so didn't really think anything of it, especially in our town. Uh, people could be in the entertainment business and, you know, uh, in all different facets. So, um, it, it really didn't seem that crazy. So anyways, their name obviously ended up in my book, but I didn't even do any research of who the person was just kind of took it as, you know, a client coming in like I always would. And, um, while I was cutting his hair, so he comes in, he's got long, dark hair. Um, he's wearing a mask. Uh, it was definitely during the time of everyone wearing masks, especially, I think you had to wear them in the salon. I don't, I don't really remember, but, uh, he was definitely wearing a mask. So I couldn't see his face only could see the long, uh, dark, uh, almost black hair. And, uh, you know, we talked a little bit, but I didn't question anything. Um, I think part of this business is, you know, let the client share what they want to share and just kind of do it. And, and honestly, I wasn't thinking anything that I didn't, wasn't thinking anything about this guy at all. So uh, I was just cutting his hair like a normal guy. Um, so I'm cutting his hair and then, uh, a little bit into the haircut, he's, he says that he found me on YouTube. I uh, saw my YouTube video, so he really wanted to get his hair cut at the salon. Um, and uh, a lot of you guys know out there, like I don't really take new clients, um, but decided to take him. So we start talking about uh, COVID, you know, and he talks about how he's a musician and, you know, how it, it's been kind of like, I don't know, he didn't say tough. He just was talking about it being different. Um, but he did say one thing that struck me as a little bit odd. He said he did an event over Zoom for St. Jude's, I believe. Uh, and so that right away in my head kind of made me think, well, if you're doing an event for St. Jude's, like that's kind of a big deal. Um, so that was kind of interesting. And then, so I popped a question and said, how do you, do you like doing the virtual, um, events, um, now that everything's kind of virtual right now? Um, or would you rather play in front of people? And what he said to me was, and I'll never forget, he goes, um, Matt, I've played in front of four people and I've played in front of, I think he said 20,000 people. I, I don't really remember the amount, but it was huge. It was a big number of people. So right then and there, I was like, well, obviously that's kind of an odd, you know, not everybody gets to play in front of 10, 20, 30,000 people, whatever. Um, so he goes, he's like, Matt, I don't know if you know, but I was the singer for Journey. And I was like, like the Journey? Like the band Journey? And uh, he's like, yeah. And I was like, wow. And we're literally at this point done with his haircut. So um, was I nervous cutting his hair? No, because I didn't know who he was. Um, he had a mask on and I was just cutting his long, dark hair. And I'm so glad that I didn't find out who it was until, you know, after the haircut was over basically. So anyways, I cut his hair. He liked it. Uh, you know, we took a picture together and that was, um, and I'm going to say late 2020, um, uh, possibly early 2021, but he's been my client ever since, uh, Steve Ajeri. Um, he sang with the band journey for, uh, for quite a while, um, after Steve Perry left. So, um, it's just super cool to have him as a client, as a friend at this point. Um, he found me on YouTube. So I thought kicking off this year, um, of kind of just being grateful to be able to be on YouTube and make content and make videos and, and teach you guys haircuts. Um, I thought it'd be kind of fun to show you guys 
the haircut that I do on him. I'm not going to do it on him on the video because uh, I'm going to respect his, uh, you know, privacy. I'm not, I don't need to, I can show you guys the technique without doing it on him. Um, but just know that this is the haircut that I do on him, basically step by step. Um, and it's a fun haircut. If you like wearing your hair longer uh, and you have that rock star vibe and you want to, you know, kind of have a haircut like that, this is a great way to go about it. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Uh, and I'm just excited to be back, guys. So um, let's get started. Here we go.
All right, guys. So make sure if you like this video, then drop a like in the uh, com. Drop a like in the comments. That doesn't make any sense. You could just comment and let me know what you think. Hit the like button. Share this video with your friends. You'd think after all these years, I'd know what to say. And also, um, make sure you go check out our online store, freesaloneducation.com. Uh, I got a free seven-day masterclass on there, so you can sign up for that. Also, any of the tools that you see on this video, except for the Blend 40 Elite, may not be released yet, but you can definitely keep up to date on that as well. Uh, we got the Blend 20 Elite on there. We've got uh, Elite Series, Pro Series scissors, tons of things you guys can go on there, purchase, support the channel, all of that. So thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks.